Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 actionable WordPress security tips that you can implement today in order to make your WordPress website more secure. Let's have a look. The first one right off the bat here is to choose your plugins carefully. You know, it's been suggested that 98% of WordPress vulnerabilities are related to plugins. These vulnerabilities include leaking sensitive information, database injection, and remote code execution. So in general, you want to avoid plugins that transmit data, especially sensitive data, to or from your WordPress website. You want to make sure that you only use plugins from wordpress.org and keep the number of plugins you install to a minimum, which also helps with the performance of your website. Number two, keep everything up to date. This includes your theme, plugins, and WordPress itself. Now, you know, many times updates include security patches that fix vulnerabilities, so these should never be overlooked. Number three, hide your WordPress version. This is a security through obscurity technique that limits the amount of information that you make public about your website. You can hide your WordPress version by adding this code snippet to your functions.php file, or you can use Perf Matters, one of my favorite plugins to hide your WordPress version with the click of a button. Number four, hide the login URL. Another similar security through obscurity technique is to hide your login URL. By default, anybody can access your login screen by going to your domain name, slash WordPress admin, slash admin, slash login, or slash wp-login.php. I have an entire video on this topic that also uses the Perf Matters plugin to disable this WordPress login screen with just the click of a button. Number five, change the default admin username. If your WordPress username is admin, that's a security risk. The first guess of any hacker will be admin, so this is something you'll wanna change. Unfortunately, WordPress does not allow you to change a username, but you can get around this by creating a new user with administrator privileges and then subsequently deleting the original admin user. If you're comfortable with executing MySQL commands, you can also rename the admin user with this code snippet. Number six, choose a strong password. I know, I know, you hear it all the time, but if you're using one of these common passwords, it's just a matter of time before your website gets hacked. A strong password of at least 16 random characters that include letters, numbers, and symbols will prevent your website from falling victim to a brute force attack. And keep in mind, in addition to your WordPress administrator password, you'll want your FTP, database, and server passwords to be just as secure. Number seven, limit the number of login attempts. On that note, it's also a good idea to limit the number of login attempts for your WordPress website. Now you can do this with a free plugin, but the official WordPress documentation suggests adding server-side password protection, which is essentially another layer of security. If you're interested, I have videos on how to do this on Apache and Nginx web servers, which I'll link at the end of this video. Number eight, check the permissions of your WordPress installation. Also, according to the official WordPress documentation, permissions for your WordPress installation should be as follows. Your wp-config.php file should have a permission of 440, all other files should have a permission of 644, and all directories should have a permission of 755. If you have SSH access to your server, you can apply these permissions with the following three commands. And some FTP clients even allow you to change these permissions as well without going on the command line. Number nine, disable theme editing. By default, WordPress administrators can edit core PHP files directly from within the WordPress dashboard. To turn off this capability, simply add this line of configuration to your wp-config.php file, which will disable the theme editor option under appearance. Number 10, install an SSL certificate. Not only will an SSL certificate provide an encrypted connection between your server and your visitors, but it will also give your website a boost in organic search results. As promised, here are the videos that will help you implement some of these security features. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you got any value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and if you do, I'll see you in the next one.